Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a shopper drop where I go through Trend Mood's Instagram page and I talk about the new makeup releases and whether or not I will be shopping them or dropping them from my wish list. Of course, this idea was originally inspired from Samantha March's Will I Buy It series and I don't know, I really love it. It's just fun to sit and talk about makeup. <laughs> hope you all are continuing to stay healthy. I know I just talked about this two days ago, but it I feel like so much is changing every single day. Like two days ago, they were limiting gatherings of 250 people. And now it's like 10. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of the bars and restaurants and movie theaters and gyms are closing down. Like it's really crazy. It's very scary. So I hope all of you are doing what you need to do to keep yourself healthy and your loved ones healthy. It's crazy times. I feel like as far as my job goes, I'm like in limbo. It's it's a lot. It's very stressful. So let's distract ourselves with some makeup and talking about makeup releases. Also, I haven't worn false lashes this big in like months i feel like i've been so into natural lashes or very light false lashes so dang i feel like these are taking up my whole face <laughs> everything i'm wearing will be down in the description box i'm sorry i didn't film a tutorial i think the eyeshadow palette i'm using is limited edition don't hate me let's anyway. scroll down it's been a few weeks since i've done a shopper drop if you don't know how it works i talk about an item i'll tell you if i will be shopping it or dropping it and giving you my reasons why all right so the first product that i want to talk about are the huda beauty little new obsessions palettes and these are the pastel ones so you have a pastel rose a pastel lilac a pastel mint so at first i was very uninterested and then you know i got in my own head and i was like do i need these Maybe I do. Like, I already have all the other ones. Shouldn't I pick these up? And you know what? At the end of the day, I don't need these. I stayed strong. I didn't pick these up because these are available now. And me staying strong and not purchasing these was the right thing to do because my friend here on YouTube, Patty, Patty Alonzo, she posted a review recently of all of these and they just didn't look that impressive. I did pick up this Morphe palette where pretty much... It's all pastels, so I think I'm set as far as pastel goes, and I don't know, these little guys from Huda Beauty, they seem to be a little bit inconsistent. I'm just not that impressive. You never know what you're going to get, and I'm sure you can create some pretty looks with them, but at the end of the day, I will film a video with these and never use them again, so I'm just going to save my money, pass on these not that interested in them. They don't look that good. So those were dropped from my shopping list. So next item that we have is from Too Faced and these are the Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Matte Concealers. These look quite reminiscent of those NARS concealers that are in a jar, which I do like that concealer. I really like Too Faced's concealers, so I'm very tempted with this one. I'm still unsure whether or not I want these. I feel like it's one of those items where I'm not gonna purchase them on initial release, but I know I'm going to purchase it once I see it in store. So right now it's on the drop part of my list, but I am intrigued because I do really enjoy the concealers that Too Faced comes out with, just their complexion products in general. I seem to have a lot of success with. So I am interested in these, especially for like spot concealing because my acne scars right now are <clears throat> making me not happy. So I am interested in this, but I also like it's Too Faced and I kind of don't want to support them. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so these new Persona blushes have come out. And I do have a few items from Persona that I really do enjoy. I really like their highlighters and they have very beautiful lip products. So you have these new blushes that are for the summer, I guess. You have Georgia, which is a peach, and then Karma, which is a rosy mauve. Those colors look so stunning. These are the last thing that I need, but... Whew, they look like such great everyday colors. So far, I have heard a lot of good things about these blushes as well, and I think it's a great company to support. I am going to pass on these for now, drop them from my list, because quite honestly, I don't need them at all. I have so many blushes, but I'm really on the struggle bus with these because they look absolutely stunning and i don't own a ton from persona but it is a brand that i do want to support tentatively dropping it from my list but if i ever see it like an ulta or something i can definitely see myself picking it up so right now i'm not gonna get it but 
it hurts me to say so. Ooh, okay, so I've been wanting to talk about the ABH and Nicole Guerrero kit coming back. I was at first going to purchase a fresh one because I did purchase the original palette when it came out a couple of years ago and I loved it. It was my go-to highlight palette when I was in college because back then it was all about how bright and obnoxious you could get your highlighter. Now I'm not so into it, so that is why I'm like, mm, maybe I shouldn't pick it up. I still have that palette. It's still fine. It still works. And I haven't reached for it because I loved it so much. I didn't want to run out. So I was like, let me buy a second one. But I honestly decided I do want to save my $40. I already have a palette. I'm not so into super blinding highlights anymore. So I'm just going to keep what I have. But I do really enjoy it. If you like a really blinding highlight, I think you will like it. If you hate glitter particles, you're going to hate this. I find that you can kind of just brush them away and it's fine for the shades that do have glitter. But it is a very blinding, very beautiful highlight palette. And I actually featured that palette in a video when I talked about limited edition products that I wish would come back. Like, my dreams came true. That one came back and I still didn't repurchase it just because I don't need it. It's $40. I'm going to save my money towards another item that I feel would be more beneficial for me and for my channel. So it is a drop on my list, but I definitely think that if you haven't purchased this palette and you really do enjoy very bright, blinding highlights... I have nothing but good things to say about this palette. I really did enjoy it. Also, Benefit is coming out with a new stick foundation to their Hello Happy line. In the past couple of years, I have reviewed the Hello Happy foundation complexion line. And so this is supposed to come in 12 shades, which is very limited as all other Benefit products are. And I was absolutely going to pick this up and purchase it and review it for you guys. And then I wore my Hello Happy foundation the other day and I think it gave me horrible cystic acne. And it had been a while since I'd worn that foundation, but a suspiciously large number of cystic acne bumps showed up on my face after using that foundation. So I'm scared to try it again because I don't want that to happen again. But I also want to know because I do like that foundation. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm suspicious of this foundation now because I hope there's not a common ingredient between the two foundations that would lead to cystic acne again. I probably will end up picking this one up. Right now I kind of want to brave that Hello Happy Up foundation and see how that goes and then kind of compare the ingredients before I go out and purchase this stick foundation but I am intrigued. Right now I do want to shop it, but tentatively. I have some things I need to work through first. In a couple of weeks, Fenty is coming out with some cream product. Yes, absolute shop, no hesitations. I'm so excited. She's coming out with cream bronzers and cream blushes. Like I couldn't ask for anything more. I have such high hopes for this formula. I'm not a huge fan of her matchsticks. And I'd always said if she had just softened and made that formula a little bit more creamy, she would be onto something. Like that product would be amazing. There's so many different colors they're so versatile but i am so happy to see that she's coming out with actual cream products so i am assuming they're going to be way more creamy than the matchsticks i am so excited for these i want to pick up two or three colors of the blushes maybe one or two bronzer colors because i love cream bronzer and blush i've never been a huge cream highlight person but cream bronzer and blush there is nothing more natural on the skin than a cream product it just looks like your skin i know i i love my powder products but oh my gosh i just love the way that cream products blend into the skin especially bronzer and especially blush and she looks like she has a lot of fun colors in here and i'm so excited for these i absolutely will be shopping these we'll be spending a pretty penny on these items so super excited so it looks like patrick ta is coming out with some new eyebrow products so these look very interesting so you have a tinted shaping wax i'm probably going to be dropping these though so I am intrigued because Patrick Ta does a beautiful fluffy brow and even though I don't think I will ever have thick enough brows to achieve a fluffy brow look, you know, if he can do it, like why can't I, you know, if I have his products? For the most part, I would say the Patrick Ta line hasn't super impressed me. I think he has some nice products in his line, just kind of nothing exceptional but nothing bad at the same time. Every product that I've had, I've had things that I could say could have been better. I still find myself using them because he does come out with such beautiful wearable colors uh, so i'm gonna say drop just because i really don't need this but if reviews come out and they say this is incredible i totally am going to eat my words and buy it for now i'm gonna say no i don't have nice enough thick fluffy brows to be able to pull off a product like that i need to fake it with actual 
real pencil color in my brows so drop for now oh this one i am so excited to talk about this is the ofra cosmetics and samantha march collaboration and of course how fitting i'm doing a video that samantha march created like this whole type of video samantha march she's the reason why everybody does these videos but she's coming out with a collaboration with ofra which freaking congratulations she's such a sweet person so you have a highlighter duo a blush duo a bronzer duo and some lip duos and i've already purchased this today actually the day that i'm filming this the pr box came out and i purchased that for pre-sale of course i'm so excited for her and these products look stunning that blush duo oh my goodness now i don't have much experience with ofra products i only have like a liquid lipstick from them which i've only used once so i don't know but i've heard good things about their powder products their highlighters in particular so i'm excited for this to be my real introduction into ofra and yeah i'm just so excited for her the collection looks beautiful i think it shows a lot about ofra as a company that they're collaborating with somebody that doesn't have a million followers like hurrah brands are seeing the value in these smaller influencers and she's not that small she is quite large to me but she doesn't have a million followers and uh kudos to them for collaborating with her and i definitely think you know if you have the money and you enjoy her videos please support her so that brands can see that there are value in smaller creators i think that if brands were to focus more on smaller creators the entire integrity of this community would change so melt cosmetics is releasing a rust eyeshadow palette i did have a very bad experience with the most recent palette that they released so i'm not too moved by this one but just in general the tones in here they don't really speak to me i'm not a huge huge fan of warm shades i mean i am wearing all of these cool tones right now like i kind of look dead but I like cool tones. <laughs> um, so not a huge fan of the colors in here. Now these are inspired from the original Rust stack from Melt that everybody was obsessed with. I didn't try that either. I do like their palettes for the most part. I have a couple eyeshadow palettes that I really do love from them. But this one, color story wise, it just doesn't speak to me. It's just too warm. I have so many warm palettes. I'm over it. I don't feel inspired by that palette. It just looks like a lot of other palettes that I own. So I'm going to be dropping that from my list. I know a lot of you guys are excited for it and I'm sure it looks to be like it's going to be really good quality. Just kind of from the picture so that doesn't really say much but i'm pretty sure it's going to be a good palette so no worries there if you are worried color pop is releasing another themed collection with disney and this is mulan i'm I, I gotta buy it you guys i do just as i had to buy sailor moon which by the way i have not yet picked up the blushes yet i drove to ulta yesterday the day that it released in ulta stores and they had every slot of the palette filled no blushes and then at that point i had missed the online order because it sold out in like one minute again i'm sorry but this really angers me all right i'm just trying to buy some sailor moon blushes is it that hard anyways okay the mulan collection y'all if you are asian i know you're trying to buy this okay I'm a little half Asian girl. I was Mulan for Halloween like five years in a row. So yes, I will be purchasing this collection. And I know the colors in here, they're kind of blah, but I owe it to myself and to a little child me to purchase this collection. I mean, the eyeshadow palette is it's blue colors. The face products look very pretty. They look very wearable and subdued. And I don't the packaging is so cute. ColourPop just does a fantastic job. So um, yeah, you definitely need to rush to pick this up because I am sure once again, it's going to sell out in like five seconds. So this is available March 18th. So I will be purchasing this. I hope you don't so that I have a better chance of purchasing it. So don't purchase it. Don't get in my way of getting this collection because you will not hear the end of it. I'm still warning from Sailor Moon. Last one that I'm going to talk about. This is like the last collection kind of that's caught my eye. And this is from the Mac and Selena collection. Mac, you have been stepping your game up with these collections. So I purchased absolutely nothing from the first Selena collection because it didn't interest me. But the items in this collection are looking quite fancy, quite luxurious. So this collection is set to come out in April. So right now, the only picture that I have to show you right now is this beautiful beautiful highlight does this not look like chanel oh my if it comes in a lighter color i will be purchasing it because that that's not my color <laughs> that's not gonna look good on me but yeah 
I've seen other pictures of like the lip glosses and some other color products from the line where I'm like, Mac. It's gonna be a tragedy if the quality does not live up to how the products look. Like then it'll be a huge dud for Mac. But if the quality of these products can live up to how pretty that they look, Mac's like here for the comeback. Honestly, very excited. Okay, okay, one last thing that I need to talk about that I just saw. So this is from Sol de Janeiro and they're coming out with a perfume, a parfum. Oh, the parfum of their scent. I don't know, it's just their scent. And, oh, it is $78. I'm buying it. Maybe not now, but the next VIB sale, shopping that for sure, because that smell is so shmummy yummy. Whew, we'll be purchasing that. I'm done. I'm gonna shut up. So, I don't wanna make editing me any more angry than I am right now. So that's all I have for today's video. Things have slowed down. There's been a bit of a lull. The products aren't as exciting, but of course, you know, I always find them. So anyways, yeah, that is all I have for today's video. Let me know the items that you are eyeing to purchase. And you know, if you let me know that you're interested in a product that I said I wasn't, maybe I'll be more likely to buy. It. So anyways, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.